Hello everyone, this is Mihai with Programmatic Modeling Connection. Today I will show you a method to convert computer code classes into Rhino Grasshopper visual programming nodes using the parametric universal programming interface, a method that actually does not involve any programming. Copy is a general purpose visual programming applications toolkit. Using Visual Basic or C Sharp developers even beginners can create graphical programming interfaces running standalone or as plugins. Puppy can convert .NET classes into visual programming modules. Based on this feature, we created a set of tools to automate this process further and developed a codeless workflow to generate Grasshopper components. The Puppy Namespace Explorer is a standalone tool bundled with Puppy. It is used to open DLL assemblies and pick elements to be converted into Puppy modules. These are saved into an MTPS file. Puppy can use MTPS files to create visual programming modules at runtime or to save Puppy modules into DLLs. The Puppy Assembly Creator tool loads an MTPS file and generates DLL assemblies one for each type or class, specified in the MTPS file. It places the DLL files into the specified export folder. If no errors are encountered, there will be one DLL assembly for each type found in the MTPS file. Each method or constructor from that type is a puppy module. Depending on what was selected in the namespace explorer, some types will not have every method and constructor converted to a Puppy module. The Puppy Grasshopper Node Creator tool will generate Grasshopper components from Puppy module DLLs. The first folder at the top of the window is the location of the DLL files with Puppy modules generated in the previous step. It also needs to know where the Grasshopper and Rhino DLLs are. Further down, the fourth folder needs to be an empty folder where the new Grasshopper component files will be copied along with the required DLLs. Use the online tool at the address shown to generate a large number of global unique identifiers and paste them in the text window, one per line. Customize the toolbar name and component details and fire away. The original DLL is not automatically copied into the deployment folder, so copy that to the Grasshopper Libraries folder as well. Source files are generated for each Grasshopper component by the Puppy Grasshopper node creator and allow developers to further customize the Grasshopper add-in. Grasshopper components created with a full or trial version of Puppy have no extra licensing requirements and can be distributed freely at the discretion of the developer. Programmatic Modeling Connection disclaims all warranty. After all the files are copied, you need to restart Rhino and Grasshopper to be able to see the new toolbars. This is a summary of the steps showing the entire workflow. This chart is also available in the Getting Started with Puppy document package with a software. Thank you for watching this video. You can try Puppy for free at Visual Programming Language dot com